With that, let me turn it over to my good friend and colleague, Representative Chrissy Houlihan, who has distinguished military service. Thank you, everyone. And I first want to thank uh, Leader Jeffries for his tireless advocacy and for all of my fellow veterans and national security colleagues as well. I serve on the Armed Services and Intelligence Committee, but before my service began, there's been a really strong heritage of service in my family. My father, my grandfather served in Korea. As a military child, my mother lived 26 miles away from Hiroshima when she was a teenager. My father was born in the throes of World War II in Lviv, which is now Ukraine, and survived the Holocaust. But as an adult, he served our country in Vietnam. I served the United States in the United States Air Force during Desert Storm. I'm sharing all of this with you because you could probably say and hear that this is personal to me. I intimately see the connection between Ukraine and Israel, Asia and this, our great nation. But this is not just personal to me. It is and should be personal to all of us. And in fact, it's not just personal. I believe it to be existential for all of us. If the U.S. does not continue to lead, and lead now, in protecting democracies, I genuinely fear, and clearly many of my colleagues do as well, that generations of my family, families with stories just like mine and yours, will pay the consequences. And this infuriates me. I cannot say it more clearly than this. The Republican-led House is derelict in their duties to our allies and to us, our nation. We need to vote, and vote now, to aid Ukraine, Israel, Taiwan, and for humanitarian purposes. For our allies, for ourselves, and for our future, Speaker Johnson needs to find the courage to bring this to a vote. Thank you very much for my time. 